Did you know that there are millions of people around the globe who have been preparing for the coming end of the world by hunkering down? Keep watching and I'll explain why these preppers believe that a future catastrophe is on the horizon and how they are preparing four to five spaces, both quietly and out in the open, to wait out this apocalypse. My name is Bhavan and this episode of Books in 5, we review Bunker by Bradley Garrett. We trust Bradley because he is currently a professor of human geography at University College Dublin. He is an expert at breaking into and sneaking around lost and forgotten spaces, leading him to publish a number of books on the topic, and his writing and photography has appeared in numerous publications. The author travels around the world to interview the people who are taking precautions to survive when the world ends. While most of these individuals have high expectations for their own continuity, the investigation in the pages showcases how the potential doomsteads leave much to be desired, as they mostly fall well short of expectations. The author describes how people are scared of nuclear wars, technological breakdown, pandemics, extreme climate events, but most of all, a breakdown of our political and governance systems, leading to violence in the streets. Based on this fear, the logical response is to burrow deep into the ground, either by moving into old bunkers created during the Cold War or building their own, with the intention of living in these safe spaces for as long as necessary and eventually emerging when it is safe. The underlying emotional foundation for these individuals is dread, which is a fearful apprehension towards an unknown future. Preppers recognize that we can't keep living a lifestyle of unlimited extraction and consumption, leading to a greater global economic integration and a more intrusive state. The media serves to increase anxiety to these kinds of people, because this is what sells to consumers. Whether it is from the news, Hollywood, or social media, there is a perception that violence during this great reset will be inevitable, and it is prudent to protect family by preparing in advance. A sentiment that is prevalent amongst those who are planning for a calamity that will destroy civilization is that government is the opponent, whether because they are too busy trying to save the elite, or because the state will utilize this disaster to trample on people's freedoms and fully take over. While this position is largely based on conspiracy theories, neoliberal policies has eroded trust in government, leading to people devising individual solutions coming from the private sector. The demand caused by a fear of societal breakdown has created a multi-billion dollar industry of companies helping people to prepare for this impending breakdown by selling a variety of products such as tricked out vehicles, panic rooms underneath and inside residences, and bunkers in remote locations. This book recounts how these dread merchants must build a hype of a devastating event happening in order to push their products, which has the side effect of undermining public institutions. There was an interesting dichotomy presented in this book regarding secrecy, privacy, and security, with some preppers becoming obsessed with concealing their plans and others being much more open and public about where they were bugging out to. Regardless of what their arrangements are, there is a calming effect that comes with having a backup plan. Individuals are able to take back their agency that has been lost to algorithms, government, and industrial capitalism that dominate our current age. Rich people are prepping in their own way, both because they have the resources to build superior bunkers in order to survive, and because they recognize they will likely be the prime targets when society collapses. Their hideouts have lots of luxuries and carefully planned amenities, whether it is underneath their residences and mansions or in underpopulated countries, with New Zealand being the most popular location. This book is timely because of the global pandemic we are currently living through, as the author reveals how society at large was not ready, but preppers were as they were able to bug out to their planned getaways. The book concludes with the realization that community is absolutely necessary, even for the preppers who are only focused on self-preservation, as they have to work together with other people to survive and then to thrive. We were motivated to start this project because of COVID, and this is the first book we are reviewing that discusses our present situation in 2020. This is an important work because it analyzes the culture of self-preservation and the mentality of individuals who are planning to endure in a world of imminent global disasters.